everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be adding a new artwork to a series which I have been working on. Now with this series basically I'm drawing it myself but with a little bit of a twist. So in the past I have done myself as a superhero, I've drawn myself as a witch and yeah you guys definitely enjoyed those videos so I wanted to do another one today and it's drawing myself as a furry. Now, if you're unaware of what a furry is, it's basically a subculture interested in anthropomorphic animal characters with human personalities and characteristics. Basically, what that means is uh, they're taking a sort of animal character, but they're adding human personalities and traits and uh, attributes and that kind of thing onto this sort of animal character. So it's sort of like an animal-human hybrid. Anyways, so uh, for the art today, I'm actually drawing... Uh, myself as a sort of uh, anthropomorphic animal and um, the animal that I actually decided to use today was a cat. Now I did this mainly because cats are one of my favorite animals and uh, if you're unaware I do have a cat tattoo and uh, cat paw print tattoos. Um, you've probably seen those in uh, previous videos but yeah I decided to go with cat today because uh, yeah I just thought you know one of my favorite animals so might as well go for that. So I started off the sketch in actually Procreate on my iPad Pro. Sometimes I do like to sketch traditionally, sometimes I like to sketch digitally and today I actually did the sketch and the inking digitally and now I mainly do, did this because well that's just what I felt like today and I like to mix things up a little bit. So here is the character design that I have been working on and as you can see she is very cat-like. Now if you saw at the start of this video I actually did do a whole bunch of different sketches and I actually did more off camera as well but um, I just kept uh, the recording of a few because I didn't want this video to be extremely long. But anyways um, I ended up going with this sort of slightly cartoon style. Now I did sort of experiment with like slightly more realistic, more realistic animal sort of styles but um, I ended up going with this cartoon style because I actually really liked how it was going. And now for the hair, I actually ended up going with a slightly more realistic uh, texture on the hair. And I actually really, really like how that kind of looks. It's a bit of a bit of a contrast between the, the slightly realistic inked hair and the very cartoon uh, look of the face. Now after I got all of the inking down that I wanted, I actually went back in and coloured in some of the line art. And this was just so I could get a slightly softer look to the art and get a bit more of a colourful line art kind of style because I really like that style at the moment. Now um, I was trying to think of something for the background and I ended up just putting my name in the background. Which is a little bit odd and I don't really think I've ever done that, but um, this is a sort of... Uh, sort of persona of myself so of course this character is going to have the same name as me because it's technically me I guess <laughs> so um, yeah I just put my name in the background in a very sort of uh, light color and this was just so that I could uh, shade around the outside and leave the text white and I actually really like this look I think it looks pretty cool so anyways, I printed off this line art onto some of my Express It blending card. Now this is actually my favorite paper to use with my Copic markers because the texture is just very soft and uh, I can actually blend really well on this paper. I really do like it a lot. So of course I'm using my Copic markers today to color this in and uh, Copic markers are definitely my favorite medium to use and yeah. The colors I decided to go with today was purple and yellow. And the reason I did this because is those are two of my favorite colors. And yeah, I actually wanted to do purple and yellow mainly because um, one, they look really nice together. Uh, they're actually complementary colors. So they're the opposite on the end of the spectrum. And yeah, they, they usually look pretty nice together. So I started off with basically just some simple block colors and then after that I layered on more marker over the top 
just to add a little bit of shading. Now, um, I mainly use the same marker all over to shade her jumper, but um, for the skin, I actually did use a few different colors. Now, when I say skin, I actually mean fur because this is a furry character. However, I'm just so very used to saying skin because I don't often draw furry characters. Now for her outfit, I definitely wanted to have some form of clothes for her. Now I know a lot of furry characters, you can definitely draw them without clothes because they have fur and technically that's not naked if unless they want it to be. <laughs> that's a whole different story. But anyways, um, I definitely wanted to add some form of attributes like myself. So I thought, you know, with clothes you can give them a bit more personality and a little bit more individual individuality if that's a word. So yeah, that's why I decided to go with a basic uh, purple jumper. Now I did this because I usually do wear purple jumpers when it's not boiling hot. And um, yeah, I actually decided to go with no pants uh, for the bottom of her. And now this isn't a sort of... Uh, I thought it was okay to do this because one, she's technically not naked. She's got fur and animals don't wear clothes anyways um, but I definitely wanted to have more of that yellow color showing so that it was a bit more balanced with the amounts of purple and yellow so that's why I decided to go with uh, no pants and actually that's all right because a lot of characters you see in pop culture uh, Donald Duck for instance uh, wear no pants and it's okay because they're an animal and they're they're covered in fur or feathers you know now for the hair, I definitely went with brown hair because I have brown hair myself and um, I actually colored in her tail the same color, mainly because I didn't want her hair to be uh, the only brown part of the illustration. So I felt like a brown tail would sort of balance it out a little bit. Now after I got the colors down to what I liked, I masked it all off and then I used my Copic airbrush system to sort of airbrush in a background. Now I decided to go with purple for the background and um, actually went with a slightly more bluish purple just so that the uh, jumper would sort of stand out a little bit. And I'm actually very, very happy I went with this direction. I was actually tempted to do a sort of more pinkish purple, but um, I think I did the right choice with this sort of bluey purple. And basically I just airbrushed it in a sort of vignette sort of style in the background and I really like how it looks. Now, once I peeled off all of the masking here, um, yeah, I actually really like how it turned out. It did take uh, quite a while for me to carefully peel off those uh, letters and stuff because I didn't want to rip the paper at all. And I feel like I did a tiny bit in some areas, but I was able to fix that up. So that's okay. Now I will admit uh, some of the masking near her tail isn't perfect, I probably could have done that better, but I feel like I went back over with uh, some gel pen and stuff and I, I actually think I fixed that up a bit better. After that I added some gel pen to the edges just to add a little bit of highlights. And I really like when I do this because it sort of just makes the character pop just that little bit more and um, I really really do like how it turned out. Now, I just want to take a moment here to uh, announce something. Uh, you guys have probably noticed this channel here is doing pretty well. And we have finally reached 9,000 subscribers. Now, this is absolutely amazing. I never thought it would have turned out this uh, crazily well. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for uh, supporting me and, uh, yeah, inspiring me to do art. So thank you guys so, so much for hitting subscribe. And uh, here is the final results and I love this artwork so much. Please let me know below what you think and yeah have a lovely day. I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!